time at three quarter time it was 67 points so they're doing it pretty well the Melk have had no answers today tony hall playing off a half forward to flank today hasn't had a great deal of impact in this match in fact he hasn't had one scoring shot at the goals today and for a forward that's an indictment on the Glenelg forward line 76 points the difference at the moment here's Mancini another chance for him kick one in the first term a couple of points since and he's a bit sore there yes when you've got Hocking come crashing into you Hocking arrived just a split second late and proceeded and he is a menacing tight some tired boys out there just have a look at Chigwit and it's going to take him but well, I reckon he'll still be finding some mud in two or three showers time He's all right, Nance. Just playing up to it a bit, I reckon. He kicks a lot of goals, doesn't he? Uh, what's he played? 70 plus games. He's almost kicked 100. Uh, in fact, if he puts this one through, this is his 100th game in league football. Tony Hall in the foreground. A little patchy from him. Some good marks, but he's by no means dominated the game. Mancini has a look. He's about 35 metres out, and he's barreled through his second, and as you can see, he's pretty happy with it. Now, Severio Rocca kicked his 100 in, what, uh, 23 or 24? games and I think uh, Jakovic for Melbourne kicked his in uh, 18 or 19 Mancini's taken 72 games to get his 100 a lot more at home Rorick and Bennett saw in our highlights at three quarter time there's been a few fists thrown and that one well quite frankly that one connected let's have a look at what Benno reacts like just with a few words now Michael Abbott knows that something's gone on there I'm not sure if he knows exactly but well, Benno's copped a few around the head in his time. I guess that one's going to hurt very much. Again, they go at it. Nothing untoward that time. Big Peter gets hold of it, barrels it forward to the head of the square. Now, where is Hollett? There he is. It's a mean-looking cut, isn't it? Does well. Mancini sneaks inside, does it beautifully, and then nails number three. That's what he can do. The will of the whisk. He's kicked uh, three, three goals, one, and one out of bounds on the full. He's a dangerous uh, player, whether he's roving or whether he sits in a forward pocket. And with that leg injury, he's just settled back into a forward pocket. And they've been terrific all around the ground. Their little men are Noonan. It started with Noonan. Bamford uh, has been quite solid. Sanders was very good in the opening half. In and out of the game, a couple of good marks. He's been pretty well held by Matt Collins, who's played at half back on him. Scripps can't do much with it. That's what happens every time at North Adelaide at the moment. They emerge from neutral balls with a reflex, and then they run and they overlap. It's the 1980s version of North Adelaide, and Benno's just getting a little bit peeved at the moment with Rorick. But to Rorick's credit, he's provided a competition. Chigwitten off the ball is feeling a bit sore and is coming off the ground. And the ball goes across the boundary line. Not good news for Glenelg because Hallahan comes on and he just questioned uh, whether or not Darren Mansell couldn't have been useful out there in the bog of Prospect Oval. He played in the reserves today. I just wonder how he went. They have a lot of injuries. Redshaw is out. Uh, Kretschmer is out. And into the open goal. Tim Noonan uh, possibly North Adelaide's best today. When you look at the tackling work and he gets his second, when you look at the work he's done in the middle, the bullocking work, the tackling, the hard ball from the bottom of the pack, throwing it wide to Banford and Sanders who have been running, quite possibly in the bog today, their best. I'd agree with that. I think he had a quieter spot through the middle part of the game, but he generated so much play early. And whilst he may have died away, he's bounced back very strongly. Bender, in the sticky stuff, laid down. Tony Hall can't do much with that. We'll have another kick from a North Adelaide boy backwards of half back. McCarthy wants to kick away towards Walsh. Inside half forward. Bennett couldn't quite take the mark and Glenelg will flee the scene once again. They've got some numbers. It's Grantley Rubinick. A bit of a mismatch with the big Boomer chasing him, but still Boomer did it pretty well. That's hit uh, McCarthy right on the nose and that would hurt. Squeezed forward. Bow kicked the last goal. McGuinness around the body. They're outnumbered just for a change down there. The Tigers and uh, Brandon Phillips has taken it. He brings it towards Grandstand side with what could only be described as a beautifully weighted kick. And as Collins got the kick away, the sign goes to end the Tiger misery. At the end of the outing, North Adelaide on ABC Sport have done it beautifully. 21 goals, 15. Emphatic winners over the Nell. 7 goals, 12. Yes, and that represents the devil's number, particularly if you're a Glenelg supporter of 87 points of difference. The goal kickers, Peter Bennett at centre-half forward was terrific. That man with a tough-looking do was Mark Hollett at full forward. Mancini had three.